hello everyone welcome back okay so you just saw a little little bit of a glimpse into my morning routine there and now i'm just ready for the day i just did hair and makeup i have a few things to shoot and kind of do today so i figured i would do kind of like a full glam this is kind of a full glam to me to be honest like eyeshadow everything i really haven't been wearing makeup that much over the past month and it's felt really nice i've been really focusing on my skincare and doing treatments and stuff and then i actually just did tan for the first time in a month last night which i think is probably the longest i've ever gone without tan the last time i wore it was when i went to paris for new year's and today is february 6th so yeah that is a new record i think but i have to say i feel good with a little bit of tan on it just kind of like gives you a boost doesn't it but anyway okay so i need to kind of catch up with you and fill you in my last videos were my vlogmas series so if you didn't get a chance to watch that i'll link it down below or it's on my on my channel obviously and then yeah january we actually ended up staying at home in ireland for a little bit longer we were there until the 22nd and then throughout that time as well we went to paris we went to london we actually had quite a busy couple of weeks but it was also so nice and so wholesome i haven't stayed home in january for a while but there were just a few things i needed to focus on in january a few projects i had to do and i just knew that if i stayed there and had the peace and the quiet and the beach walks on my doorstep and just good food and like that nice pace of life there i knew i would just really be able to focus and it really worked i i got a lot done and i just came back to new york feeling like really refreshed and just ready for the year and something that i kind of want to talk about actually this year in my upcoming videos is that kind of prep for a new year because this time last year i was feeling the opposite like my kind of mood going into last year or just kind of my mindset and the way i kind of set myself up in january last year and the things i was doing couldn't be more opposite to how i'm kind of approaching this year and it's really crazy the difference that it makes and even just a few weeks of certain routines and certain systems they can just make such a huge impact and i definitely think i'm in a really like good kind of inspired energetic place today february 6th after the last month or so and so i can definitely share some things i've been doing or things i know work and things you can easily incorporate too and i really believe that like your your new year can start anytime like if you had a shit january like just forget about it and start in february or if you have a bad february forget about that start in march and i just don't believe that we have to start this new you know routines and new year and resolutions and blah, blah blah in january i just think it's kind of silly i think january for me personally like it it's a month where you get to reset and it's, you kind of get to hibernate a little bit <laughs> and you get to gather your thoughts and then i think you can kind of attack the year you have to ground yourself first before you can launch into loads of stuff so your new year can start any single time so if you feel behind or you feel like you've wasted a month or you've wasted a couple of months just don't even let that get to you don't let that bother you just start when you're ready to start and i think that's something that like we all need to remember so i could definitely share more about that this year i feel like on my channel this year i want you to be able to come here for whether it's 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes and just switch off and it's like a little bit of a distraction but i want you to leave every video feeling like you learned something or you can take something away or you can just find one little thing in the video that you can incorporate into your life or something that just makes you think even because they're my favorite kind of people and videos and creators to watch it's like the ones where i get you know a really nice positive vibe from them and i like watching their videos and it's a nice escape you know when i'm watching my, when i'm having my dinner or whatever but also the ones like that are able to do that and then also teach me something or inspire me to do something or inspire me to think about something or do it a different way so that's my goal for this year you probably have noticed in the last year or two you know i've pulled back a lot on content not just on youtube but on instagram and other platforms as well and i don't regret doing it honestly like it gave me time to regroup and it gave me time to pour my energy and work into other projects that i've been working on and doing and 
that in a way has like inspired me even more now to do this again taking that break and stepping back a little bit and working on other things and other projects it almost made my it almost made my love for content creation influencing come back more so it's like you don't have to fully give something up but i think it's so important to you know have a little bit of space sometimes to think and regroup and reset and i really think coming into this year i just feel like in a good place content wise and i really feel excited and inspired to create again and create my own way to do it my way and you attract the people then that you're supposed to attract i fully believe in that like i'm not everyone's cup of tea i never have been i never will be but you attract the right people when you're being fully authentic to yourself and if you take anything away from this video it's that little snippet like you just have to be yourself and you'll attract the people that you're supposed to attract so that's how i'm approaching this year i have lots of video ideas one thing i definitely want to do asap is talk to you about my vision board that i made for the year and my dream year 24 i if you follow me for a while you'll know i do that almost every year for the last like seven or eight years i basically sit down i actually have it here i'm not gonna show you everything but i just did it in this notebook this year my dream year 2024 and then this year's quote is direction is more important than speed i love that one and then i break it into four sections so it's career personal slash wellness travel relationships and then this year I added in habits basically like five habits i want to be really really consistent with not just for a month not just for two months but for the full 12 months like super consistent and then another section i added in was why question mark so why am i doing all this like what's what's the reason i think that's what some of us really forget when we set goals and intentions it's like you need a why behind it that's the only way you're going to achieve them it's like when some people kind of shit on manifestation and all this stuff and they're like it's not real like you can't just think about something and it happens and i fully agree but it's so much more than that it's like you're really like you have to feel it and you have to feel why you want it or why you want to do this or why you want to achieve something i think it just really comes down to that it really works like i don't know how it works in a way but it just it makes you feel like it's real like it makes you feel like it's happened and then throughout the year then you work towards that and you you keep thinking of that you know what i mean so i can go into all that more and i can go into vision boarding i did a vision board i just make my vision board on canva and then i have it as my um oh this mess just going in now but iphone screen and i have it as my laptop screensaver and desktop background and i look at it every single day and i remind myself because that that works some people don't believe it and that's okay but i 1000 percent think that works i had a picture of basically this apartment on my vision board for like four years and then it happened like and didn't just click my fingers and happen obviously i worked towards it but it's like seeing and visualizing is so powerful if you can really incorporate it properly into your life so yeah i can talk way more about that um this is turning into a very long chat i promise all the videos to come won't be as long as this but i wanted to just kind of get caught up with you and you know have a little bit of a chat at the start of the year the rest of the vlog will just be regular vlog today is just a shoot day i have admin to do and then tomorrow is kind of similar and then thursday we're actually going to brooklyn with macy which is so cool they invited us to stay at a hotel with them in brooklyn and they have like loads of dinners and activities and like things planned for us so that's thursday and kind of half a friday so i think i'll vlog like up until then and bring you along with us and yeah that's the plan loads of videos to come let me know in the comments what you want to see i already have about 10 planned out like ready to film ready to edit so they'll be coming hopefully they'll be some of the ideas that you're mentioning and then if there's any other ones i'll take note and we'll get through them all this year so nice to be back kiln's just here with joey let's go see him <gasps> hello my boy oh my God. you gotta take your harness off hello Good morning. Are you ready for work? Are you ready for work? Intern Joe, can I have a high five? Oh, thank you, Paul. Other one? 
Oh, thank you, Jojo. You're the best boy. I'll get you a treat now because I know that's what you want. I know it is. Okay, I'm actually out of a street, so thank God Kellen brought some. <gasps> Who's the best boy? <laughs> that's your payment for work. quick stop for lunch i just did some wild caught salmon in the air fryer um some green beans i prepped a few of them for this evening and tomorrow as well and then i had some quinoa prepped i've been doing that every week and it's just so handy for lunch and for dinners it just like adds that little bit of extra protein actually i have a pilates class this evening so i'm probably not going to have dinner a little bit later so this should definitely keep me going lunchtime walk I have to actually run to the shop and get a few bits I'm out of um I need eggs for the morning and oh, sugar and spinach so I'm gonna grab that while I'm out for a walk two birds one stone and then I have a little bit more work to do and then we're gonna do a class later just got my packages also the dishwasher's on and there's sirens and everything but it's New York for you um so let me see what we got oh my god heaven honestly my favorite delivery is a hair care delivery this hair mask I talk a lot about my Kerastase hair masks and I do think like they're my kind of holy grail but I would say this is a very close second it's called the don't despair repair and I actually saw a TikTok recently it's, I think there's like an app where you can like scan products in Sephora or wherever you're shopping and it'll tell you like what the ingredients, if they're good or if they're bad and this scored really really well. I saw a TikTok about it like during the week so I really recommend that. My camera setup is not good right now but I already tried what it's coming tomorrow evening. Okay, first I got this cute grey top. I'll be handy with leggings. Got a pair of leggings. Oh yeah, these looked really nice on this side. Just plain black leggings. You can just not have enough black leggings. I just go through them in the week so much. Between all the classes and then just like running around the place. A matching top. It's cute, isn't it? Mm -hmm, I like that. A matching crop black top to go with them. The last but not least... Oh, a second pair of black leggings. <laughs> These look really cute too. So I'll be able to like mix and match these together, which is really handy, and my other black tops as well. So yeah, looks good. Okay, it is now workout time. I honestly prefer morning workouts, but the way my schedule is this week, the evening ones are kind of working best. I did core power yoga sculpt last night, which I love, and then I'm doing Vara tonight. It's a new Pilates class that opened in our neighborhood so I've been once and I liked it so I'm gonna try it again now tonight and I need to actually show you as I said I'm trying to get my workout gear to be a bit better I love this jacket I just have like a short sleeve kind of t-shirt on and then these are my aloe yoga leggings which I really like and then let me just sit this up and show you it's really nice from sweaty Betty. it's just such a nice fit like it really kind of brings you in here and then it has these thumb holes which I like and it's just perfect for throwing on to platys I usually like leave this on for the first five minutes until I kind of warm up and yeah I recommend it so if I can get a link I'll link it down below or something similar handy for these kind of chillier evenings also the Invisalign journey is still going <laughs> we're getting there slowly but surely I didn't have them on earlier but I put them in afterwards I'm just gonna wear them out to class and then have my dinner after that so yeah they're not really bad though I'm definitely better at speaking with them now Okay, just home. That class was actually tough enough, not gonna lie, but we got it done and 
Tommy has like some dinner made, some sweet potato, same green beans as earlier, and then just some grilled chicken just in the air fryer. So I'm gonna add some sauce now and yeah, I'm gonna wash Love Island. Guys, I'm obviously in the US, so I can't wash Love Island like in real time, but this TikTok account literally has all the episode basically, like so quick. So that's how I watched the violin. Obviously not the full episode, but you get the, the main parts. Okay, showered, skincare done, Invisalign in, so ready for bed. I will see you in the morning. morning. It is 6.35. This is my usual morning setup. I start with hot water and I add in a little bit of this so I can drink it quicker. I have that, I'll do my meditation, all the usual stuff. And then I make my big water bottle. I use this water, which I absolutely love, Mountain Valley Spring Water. And then I actually put some electrolytes into it. Somebody at home in Ireland told me about these and I got them when I was home. So I put in like one or two tables or teaspoons into this throughout like for the beginning of the day. And I think it's really like working and helping me. I feel much more hydrated and like in my workouts and stuff, I feel better. And I bring this to my workouts as well, so. That's my morning set up. I'm gonna do my rest of my morning routine now and then get ready for the day. I've actually been doing some of this girl's meditation, meditations on YouTube, Lavender. This one just came up, so I'm gonna take it as a sign. I'm just gonna do this one this morning. So 10 minute guided meditation for positivity, gratitude, and joy. Be a nice start to the day. to get a quick walk in before I get ready and um, a couple times of the week me and Kellen try and meet at around like 7 30 usually and walk over to the park it's just so nice in the mornings and like the dogs are off their leashes I think it's between 8 and 9 in the morning so it's just it's very nice there all the dogs and Joey loves it so I'm gonna get that done now and then I'll come home and get ready <laughs> on my water bottle oh no this tray doesn't go back any further because the bed's in the way um my tripod is not coming until later today and it cannot come quick enough but basically i just did my hair and makeup because i have more videos that i want to film for you today i actually want to ask you a question i'm thinking about like starting this series kind of i'm not sure the exact name yet but something like organize with me and then, like we do different sections of the apartment in in the different videos i know that probably sounds so boring to some of you like i just i know that already but i can't explain to you like organizing for me is like therapy like when my apartment is organized and tidy and all the drawers are decluttered like it just brings me like a sense of peace so i'm due a lot of organizing in my apartment right now i just always feel like at the start of the year it needs a refresh i did my dresser last week i tackled that so that's very clean and tidy now and like decluttered but i need to do my wardrobe i need to do the kitchen cabinets like there's lots of stuff in there that just drive me crazy i need to do my bedside tables um my skincare like i have this whole cabinet out here as well where I put like my PR and stuff I get gifted. I need to go through all that. So will I start a series that we can kind of organize together and I can share with you the different organization things I use, like the different um, baskets and just any organization tools or tips. Like I just love doing it. So maybe some of you will too. Maybe it will get like a hundred views max, but who cares? Like at least <laughs> some of you might enjoy it. So let me know about that. And then the next thing I was gonna ask you, I was actually just on my Instagram story yesterday and 
I kind of hadn't talked on there in a while honestly and I got a lot of questions about my makeup that I was wearing and I basically did the same makeup today I kind of do the same makeup every day to be honest it's nothing not mind-blowing like I'm not that good at makeup but I kind of know what works for me and especially for like paler redhead vibes I kind of know and like when I have tan on what works so would you like to see kind of like an updated makeup routine where I just put the camera up as soon as I get my new tripod put my camera up and then just talk you through my full routine and I can just have like a chat about something else maybe in the video and then maybe we could do a hair updated hair routine as well like how I dice in my hair and like tips and tricks for that I've done that before on here but maybe I can just make like separate videos for these instead of maybe always putting them into vlogs where they kind of get a bit lost so let me know and what I'm gonna film today I think is an updated bag video but I'm gonna do it in a way I think that is like my best and worst bag purchases ever because really in the last year I only wear I would say I don't know like half them maybe like there's some bags I just go back to and go back to and go back to and there's some bags I'm like oh god I don't know what was that worth it maybe I should sell this so we'll go through this little bag closet I have here and Hopefully you'll enjoy that. So yeah, I just wanted to pop on. I'm just about to start filming now. I have a call at like in an hour though, so I gotta be quick and then I'll check in then again. Okay guys, I just finished filming the bag video. So that will probably come after this vlog. So keep an eye out. Here's a little sneak peek. I love this bag. Kind of closet so much. Like look at this. And it's open. I showed this before, but honestly, it still amuses me. See, the lights come on. And nighttime, it's so cool. Like when I, in my future house, when I have a whole dedicated room for my clothes and my bags and stuff, I really wanna like really focus on the lighting. I think lighting in a wardrobe is just so chic when it's done right. So this is kind of my my apartment version for now. I'm gonna take a quick break after that. I'm absolutely starving today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, so I just made this kind of like Greek yogurt, a little bit of protein powder, a little bit of maple syrup, almond butter, almond flakes, and some blueberries. Just a nice little snack in between meals. Sometimes I'll have this like just for breakfast, kind of like more, like a bigger portion, but it's nice um, on the days I'm just a little bit more hungry. So I'm gonna have this. Look at my phone for 10 minutes and then get okay, back guys, to it. Okay guys, it is the next day. I am just ready to go to Brooklyn with Macy's. We're staying in a hotel out there. This is what I'm bringing, not too bad. This is like my go-to bag if I'm just going for like a night. Um, I have just an outfit for tonight, clothes for tomorrow, and then these are kind of like my laptop and I just put my skincare bag in here because it was kind of bulky. I brought some snacks. So yeah, ready to go. I'm actually really excited. Kellen's coming as well. It's going to be so nice. We have a dinner tonight and then we have like a workout class in the morning and breakfast and stuff. And I think they're like giving us lots of pieces from their new line. So I'll show you now once we get there. Okay, we're just checked in. We're staying at the um, Arlo in Williamsburg. We got these little goodies waiting for us. I'll open that up now and I'll show you in a minute. And then the best part is actually wait for it. Oh, that is going to be so pretty at night time when it's all lit up. Fab. And, and then the bathroom. Very cute. So yeah, going to get settled in. And then we have a few hours until dinner, which is nice. So we'll be able to just kind of chill. And then I'll bring you along with us for the evening. Okay, I just, oh, we're both trying to stick our phones to the TV. So we could kind of fill um, a little haul. Do you want to come in, Yeah. Okay, we're going to see what is in here. Handy. I know, so handy. First of all, this bag is actually so cute. I'll be such a good workout bag. Yes, I love it. So basically, they're launching a new line. That's why we're here. I think it's like a sleepwear, kind of cozy loungewear line oh yeah i like the look of this you know it's so soft oh my god oh my god what's joe that? malone oh my god did we get what else do oh we have god. Oh, a shishido so vitamin c oh, cute nice oh yeah this is like a book about their new line this That's is a lovely little goodie bag let me tell you oh, 
Nice, vitamin C from Shiseido. Thank you. How is this? <gasps> yes. What is that? I love this brand. Mason Margiela <gasps> replica. Amazing. Oh, this is amazing. <gasps> love these. I just used the, the gold ones this morning. And then we have a little sweat. Yeah, I'm filming for my hair if I look like an Egypt, <laughs> but I'm not doing so. Clarins. Lip oil. Oh my god, I've heard so many good things about these. Okay, I laid everything out kind of nicer. So yeah, so nice. I'm really excited about this. It's actually a room spray. Very excited to use that. And yeah, this is a candle. And then some beauty stuff. This is our schedule for the trip. And then I'm very excited to try this on. Okay, not sure if the lighting is gonna properly show you this but i'm wearing this jumpsuit that i've actually had for so long it's by rachel so i'm pretty sure i actually think i might have got this at macy's now that i just think about it i think i did wow that is that was not planned um but it's this nice like wide leg shape and then it has this little detail at the top i just have my lulery earrings and just spruce up my hair a little bit but yeah kellen's looking very glam too shows your outfit She's very into these, would you call them red tights? Or no? Yeah, kind of burgundy. They're cool. Yeah, they're nice. I like them. They're she wore them in Paris too. Very chic. Okay, time for, for dinner. Oh, so hungry. <laughs> Thank you. 